Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to RimWorld on our lovely little sea ice survival type challenge -y thingy here. When we last left off, we had just moved all our stuff, and I've since... I, I, I fast-forwarded just a little bit to get all of this taken care of. Uh, Arik, what are you doing? You are hauling human meat to our stockpile zone. Do you mind maybe hauling this stuff in? I don't really want the dromedaries eating our stuff. Though I am also thinking to myself, at this particular point in time, we may... It may be a smart idea to take maybe Ark and the dromedaries and, uh, you know, maybe... Or, well, I guess I should probably take Corbin as well as protection. Tattered apparel? Ark, why are you wearing tattered clothing? What's going on here? You're not forced to wear any of this. I'm sure you'll change out of it eventually, but anyway, I'm thinking to myself, maybe we want to, you know, do some kind of exploration over here to try getting more resources. Because that is probably the only way we're going to be getting resources for the foreseeable future, because there isn't really anything to do here. I'm pretty sure, I think I said this before, but I'm pretty sure there is some kind of fishing mod that we could do in order to take care of that. Colonists seen bathing. These colonists have been peeped on while they are bathing and got upset. Build them a more private bathroom as soon as possible. How does that make you feel, my good man? Shared bedroom, ugly environment, observed bathing times five. Holy crap. Times five, really? Eight foot ta- Oh, for the love of all that's been holy. That eight foot table, I tells you. Somewhat impressive. Well, that's good. Uh, we have our mediocre barracks. I just move everyone in here. That could work. And it might even be a smart idea to sort of tear some of this apart and try rejiggering everything. Uh, it also occur occurs to me that uh, the big downside to this is, uh, you know, hang on a second. I'm going to, under the options here, where is that? Uh, let's see here. Pause on load, urgent letter, wind sway, sc uh, screen edge mouse scroll, pause on load. Oh, where is it? I can't see it, but on the map there was... Where did I even find it? I know there was somewhere where I could... Is it on the world screen itself? I feel like an idiot if it's hiding in here somewhere and I just missed it. Oh wait, 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 no, it's right here. I Don't do that. Keep hitting escape because I think it'll just minimize this, but... Uh, what is this? Displaying expanding icons... Uh, day and night... There we go. Now I can just rotate however I dang well please. What I was thinking to myself is if we want it, like, to do more raiding, yeah, we're going to have some problems with that because it'll take us, you know, 10 million years to travel over there. Over here. With drop pods, it will be faster, but of course we would need to do some stuff with that as well. But you know what? Let, let's not worry about that. We'll let the raiders come to us. And we will consider, of course, going around to do some exploration and discovery. And, oh, also a couple of things that were also brought to my attention. I should switch to... First fire, single shot round. Apparently that is uh, more, uh, I guess, ammo efficient, I am told. Auto fires is full auto. Burst is in free shot bursts. And single is... I think... I think free shot burst would be okay, right? And what is... What is snapshot? Aimed shot, hold fire, what is snap, I mean, I assume snapshot is basically like fire from the hip. If I'm understanding that correctly, I'll leave it like that for now, I think. Also, 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 lots of also's, uh, there is some kind of caravan tab. Now, let's see here. Ah, config. Oh, well, well, well. Here it is. I can say what direction. That would have made my life a lot easier. Well, live and learn. And it's been here this whole time. Tisk tisk, sir. Tisk tisk. Anyway, now that we know that, we will hopefully not make that mistake too many more times in the future. I'm probably going to make it several times in the future, but we'll ignore that for now. Also, 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 again... Uh, we are still playing with uh, the whole line of sight thing 
because I have... Why does this map look kind of wonky? Big old rectangular field of view here. I... Yeah, because if I... I might be mistaken, but I'm, I'm not sure if I can't turn it off. Uh, mostly because the game crashed when I had it off. But that might also be because I... At the same time, I also found out that for whatever reason... Uh, combat realism has been removed from the Steam Workshop and uh, also on the uh, RimWorld forums, but uh, there are some kind people who have made sure it is available. I, I think it's it was removed because there is like a new version of the mod, like sort of like a successor called, I think, Combat Extended or Combat Expanded, something like that. And, oh yeah, we also have these fertilized emu eggs. I, oh, ruined by temperature, so nothing to worry about. There. But anyway, so yeah, it's gone. Bit inconvenient. I mean, it kind of worked as is. I kind of wish that uh, the mod uh, creator or whoever had it posted, because if I recall, it wasn't like the original original mod creator who had it posted on the Steam Workshop and elsewhere. But uh, they had their reasons for removing it, so I guess I, guess I can respect that. And uh, yeah, but someone else has kindly made available the... Uh, like, the link to it. Why, why are you guys, like, switching stuff around? Silly people. You know what? Don't question it. Anyway, so it, it is still available, and you can still get it. And in, if I forget, uh, don't forget to shout at me in the comments to post a link. But I will have a link. Also, this is something that... Mildly, I might eventually end up having to do something with this. Because if I didn't for bid these doors, Ark actually might not have put on her clothes properly. Properly? Properly. Yes, that's the word I was actually looking for. And uh, further beyond that, dang, it is cold in here. I should move everyone to be sleeping in here and then maybe something or other like that. Or just get some vents. That would also probably be smart, but we have a lot of stuff we need to figure out with here. Or hot. Yeah, 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 I'll be fine. Excuse me. Uh, anyway, so, yeah. The problem is, is I've noticed sometimes after bathing, they don't immediately just put their clothes back on. Like, let, let's watch here what Corbin does. Maybe he'll be intelligent about it. Yeah, see, he, he just, uh, he just did that for whatever reason. Like, he went and... at uh, Corbin. We are, forbid that. There you go. Did I not... Why is it that one door keeps unforbidding itself? Come on, stop doing that. There you go. Okay, Corbin, you could... No, don't play horseshoes naked. Put your clothes on. Yeah, for some reason they do that. Maybe I should just put a clothing storage thing around. Could you put your clothes on, Corbin? I would appreciate that. Oh, for the love of... Like, this stuff is not worn out already. No, it's not. Corbin, get your clothes on, for God's sakes. I mean, cannot wear inventory is full. What the heck are you talking about? Oh my god, no. Carrying all this ridiculous ammo. Inventory is full. Inventory is... Oh, he, he immediately... Stop! No, stop! Stop! Swear to god, Corbin. Oh, that's what... Ha Wait, what? Still can't... Yeah, wear, wear your clothes. I'll be honest, some of this stuff... About, uh... Combat realism kind of annoys me. There we go. Yeah. You know what? Let, let's let see if having just, like, a clothing stockpile that surrounds this. Like, I, I like the idea of the hygiene mod and all, but, uh, is mildly annoying. I'm gonna say this is a l low, no, not normal, a low priority, so that hopefully people won't take stuff here unless they need to. And, uh, no only... Non-dead man's apparel, no corpses. All right. Let's see if that helps with things. Yeah, pick up the ammo and stuff. All right. Also, unforbid that. All right, yeah. Like, that's the one thing that really... Really ticks me off about the hygiene mod is that people are... No, did I... Did I not tell you don't allow dead man's clothes? Yeah. Allow non-dead man's apparel. Wait, what? Allow non... Well, that's just ridiculous. Shouldn't that be allowed dead man's apparel? I don't want dead... I don't want dead man's apparel here. Ugh. Preferred. 
and preferred. Well, stuff's still getting in here, and, and they will put on Dead Man's... God damn it. They will put on Dead Man's Apparel after... Uh, you know what? Fine. Fine. If you're gonna be difficult with me... Yeah, I am... If it wasn't for the fact I'd have to completely restart this campaign, I think I would just, uh... Disable hygiene at this point. It is... Sl oh god. No. No. There. Stop moving my stuff around. Alright, let's see how this works out. Monarch, put your clothes back on after bathing. There we go, okay. Please tell me you're not wearing dead man's clothes. What you're human-like. Wearing worn out apparel. Oh, you're right, you're a nudist. I forgot about that. Right. Well, you know what, you're, you're gonna die at some point, Ark, so we'll just kinda... We'll leave it as is. How are the dromedaries doing, by the way? They are starving to death, so I, I guess that is something I should be a little concerned about. Maybe I should butcher them now so as to spare them the pain of dying of hunger, because I would assume that's probably the worst way to die. Uh, I am a little bit sad that I had to. But, uh, I mean, they were a breeding pair as well. That also, that's the real kicker, but, I mean, they chose, they chose to show up here, so... Oh, and they're getting it on. Wonderful. I mean, I suppose I could keep them alive, but... Nah. Where are you going, Ark? All in chem fuel. There's chem f Oh! Oh, there's stuff that's all the way down here. Right. I should consider building a sniper tower at some point. There's a lot of stuff I should consider doing at some point. But, alright, so it does seem like just having... What's going on over here? Ark is still pissed off about life. You're okay, Corbin. Yeah, so it does seem like things are gonna work out somewhat nicely. Somewhat nicely indeed. Alright, good. You have butchered the animal. Jolly good. It's been very quiet. Wish, uh, kinda wish there was an option. I wonder if there's a dev command to spawn new pirate bases. So I might do that if if you guys don't mind. That I might do that just to give us some, you know, more more excitement and intrigue to do over here without having to leave our our home. What's this? A friendly AI from your past named Shalon Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and sends you its coordinates. If you travel to the ship, Shalon will take you off this rim world to the stars. Well. Alright, and where are we? We are... Well, we're right here. I mean, we could do that, but that's what we did in our tribe playthrough, so I don't really think... Did you stop walking through, like, the main... You know what? Easy way to deal with that would be to just say you dislike pathing through here. There we go. The one problem with this mod is that you can't get rid of these things once you put them down. You can change them. Or actually, wait. If I turn it to normal, we'll just... Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. Actually, it's not so much I'm an idiot as it is the fact that uh, I remember reading about that being the case. And uh, it has apparently changed since then. Alright. Ark is idle. Well, you know, there's not that much to do around here. It's just sit around, make some food, and prepare for winter. I mean, Ark's probably... Ark may go crazy. You know what would also be nice? If I could make colonists uh, eventually... Or, not if I could make, but it, something that would be nifty to see added in a, a future update would be for the ability to have colonists develop new traits as time goes on. Like, for instance, if they are forced out of necessity to participate in cannibalism often enough, then they will, sooner or later, uh, you know, end up enjoying cannibalism and becoming cannibals. Or maybe event... Actually... You know what? Now that I say that, I feel like there is, in fact, a mod that does something to that effect. I think so. There's actually all kinds of cool mods that do stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, in one sense or another. Don't, don't, yeah, don't go in there, Win. No! Don't do it! Don't do it, Ark! Where is Ark? Oh, I 
trapped her in the doorway. I, at some point, I'm going to want to create a proper little uh, bathroom area. But for the time being, uh, they'll get over it, so they'll probably be fine. Probably. Maybe. What are you doing, Ark? Playing some horseshoes? Good for you. I mean, as long as everyone's happy. I've got to be honest with you, I'm actually uh, kind of surprised with just how little is happening right now. Like, it is, like we're not playing on Randy Random, are we? No, we were playing on... Let's go under options here just to check that. Mod settings. Oh! You know what? This is something I've never actually played around with, is the ability to actually fiddle with various... Uh... Ooh. Nifty. Oh, I could just turn it off that way. Alright, that's good. Hookup rate, date rates. Uh, polled sex... What does this mean? Base rates of sexuality traits on polling data from YouGov. The rates of Kinsey 0 and 1 assigned straight Kinsey 5 and 6 assigned 6 and in... Or uh, 5 and 6 assigned gay and in between assigned bisexual. Alright, so I assume right now it's just kind of random, but if you do it this way it'll kind of try to statistically distribute who gets these things. Cool. Splinters, defectors. You know, I don't know why I've never looked at this little, uh, little uh, buttony thing. All mod update news. Restart after mod or after mods menu changes. Sure, why not? We can do stuff like that. Uh, that's not what I'm looking at. That's also not what I'm looking at. Back to options. That's what I was looking at. I know you can... Oh, there it is. Choose storyteller. And right now we are on Cassandra Intense, which seems reasonable enough. And I, I've got to be honest, I thought we were playing on Randy Random for a while, just given how the fact that we've played for, according to my timer, approximately 17 minutes at this point, plus the time I spent just getting things in... Oh, there we go. I was just complaining. We haven't had a raid. The Dark Saws. What a badass name. All right. Well, Corbin, if, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to send you over there and you're going to butcher the hell out of everyone because you're such a badass. What is Ark uh, good at? You're not really good at shooting stuff, but I, I probably, I probably should let you equip some kind of gun, just in case. What do I want to give you? Um, could give you the pump shotgun or a pistol. Now well, we'll give you, we'll give you the superior shotgun for now. Why not? All right, meets back on the menu, boys. I mean, kind of. It never went off the menu, but we're going to have even more soon enough. All right, so if you just stand there, Mr. Corbin. All right, not quite enough. Let's uh, send John over here. How big is this raid going to turn out to be anyway? That's my question. All righty then, Mr. Corbin. Yeah. All right, you're still not quite close enough, huh? All right. Oh! Salt. Okay. Let's see here. You're naked. What, really? What are you doing on an ice sheet naked? Or on sea ice, rather. You're also a pessimist and you're feeling bad. Very low expectations, though. Uh, ugly, pes- Oh, you're ugly. Well, that means that you will make good, good kibble. And you only have an EMP pump? Or EMP 12 gauge shell? EMP, like, as in electromagnetic pulse, as in... Alright. Whatever you say, Hoss. Let's just, uh, shoot Mr. Salt. Okay. And you're happy that you murdered that guy? I mean, that's that's always good, I guess. We have some 12 gauge shells. We'll just sit here and... This isn't, like, just some weird glitchy-ness, is it? Is there anyone else coming? That's my question at this point. Oh, here they come. And you are, yeah, watching for targets. My god! <laughs> They're crazy! And you're dead. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, not the not the wanton uh, death and despair, but the fact that these guys are, like, they have no chance. I love the fact that they have the, you know, they actually talk. I'm pretty sure it's combat realism that adds that, but it might be one of the many ever mods we're playing with. To be honest, I kind of only briefly skim over a lot of these mods and what they do, just because I trust that I'm going to like them, 
based on the briefest of skimming and also sometimes based on recommendations that others have given me on, you know, whether it'll be good to play or not. And then I just kind of play from there. I probably should, in some cases, read a bit more in depth about the stuff I'm playing. Why are you just standing there? Oh, you're deconstructing stuff. I gotcha. All right. Good for you. All right. We're also going to be building our second thing. So I figure it makes sense. Have some extra batteries and the like. And in fact, at the rate we're going here with these, I might even... You know, actually, no. You know what? Let's, uh, let's not produce too much power. Let's cancel that instead. Because I don't want any z events to cause too much trouble for us. You know what? I kind of question. And we're on ice, right? Can I build graves? I can. But the question is, what exactly am I building it on? Well, I guess the implication is that this is really, really deep snow that's permanently there as a result of the fact that it is really cold. I also kind of question how this is such shallow water. In fact, my imagination is that we're actually, like, in this shallow water. We're just standing on a very thin bit of ice that water is kind of flooding over. Which also makes this base very, very structurally dangerous, doesn't it? Anyway, but what I was sort of, I guess, complaining about right before that raid showed up is the fact that we hadn't actually had anything happen this episode. But then something actually went and happened, so... I was happy. We're also going to deconstruct this, because I actually just noticed that people have been refilling these things, and frankly, I don't want to spend all my wood on stuff like that, or worse still, chem fuel, as we might need that at some point. And I would rather have everyone sit around in the dark, to be honest with you. Incidentally, and by incident, uh, incidentally, I mean on a completely different note. Wow, you love... Uh, apparently, Ark really likes... Corbin. Corbin feels nothing about you. Alright. Why do you feel nothing about her? And your bonded animal, Goomba, is dead. In retrospect, I suppose I should have let Goomba live, given the vast quantities of food we have here. Really, you just have no opinion at all? Like, nothing? I mean, I assume that's because you're a... Because you are a psychopath and bloodlust. But I, I figured you might, uh, might be able to get over that. I mean, she, uh, Ark apparently loves Corbin despite the fact that, uh, he is a complete and total monster. The unfortunate implications of this relationship continue to mount. This is not a good relationship these people are in. But then again, uh, wait, how did, how did we get Ark again anyway? I already forget. Did she just wander in or was it, uh, or was she being chased? forget. I already forget. Not, not good. Uh, the important thing, though, is that at the end of the day, also let's look at the factions here. All right, three out of five are hostile towards us. That's okay. In fact, it's only, uh, oh right, because I killed someone from the Outlander Union, didn't I? Well, that wasn't very smart of me, now was it? Means we really aren't going to get good trading opportunities, doesn't it? Unless we get is it possible even for random trade companies to show up from different groups? And by that, I mean, like, no, I'm pretty sure all the trade caravans always are part of one faction or another. Umbra Dark Light Nighthawk. You're also in our effort campaign, in our uh, Lovecraft campaign. Man, you are really popular. It seems like every room world has an Umbra Dark Light Nighthawk as its uh, leader. Sometimes a medieval chief, sometimes a tribal chief, sometimes something else. Beric Boss Lions, huh? Ryoko Wonsan Minis? Minus? Minis. I'm gonna say Minis, that's probably horribly wrong. Yes, end of the episode, just listen to Gaslight horribly butcher people's names. Let's not do any more of that, shall we? I can only butcher so many names in an episode. It's in my contract. If I butcher too many, then uh, this becomes... Very, very bad. I do wonder to myself, what should I do with all this spare time we have? Because we're, we're really not doing anything. We're just kind of sitting here in between uh, raids and stuff. I'm actually almost wondering to myself if I should strategically deconstruct all of, excuse me, all of this. Like leaving just enough supports to keep the roof up. 
and then uh, just do something with this. Might make sense. Sculptor's table. I mean, the thing is, we're at a... There is a lot of resource scarcity right now. But since we're not doing anything, it probably makes sense to build a research table. And at some point, a dividing wall. That would also be smart. But you know what? Let's uh, deconstruct these. We don't need them. Not right now. We'll build them as we need them. And I don't think this is going to be a colony that takes prisoners. We're just going to kill everyone. Kill everyone, let God sort it out, and so on and so forth. Ah, you're staring at each other naked, and you... Oh, but you are having a pleasant chat, so... Did you guys just, like, hook up or something already? Just fall in love? You'll love it, I, I, I promise you. Anyway, I mean, it probably won't be a healthy relationship, but it will be a relationship, and... Isn't that the most important lesson of all? Is that even complete monsters deserve love? Of course, then again, there's also the question of if complete monsters... I wonder if I could cheese the terrain rehabilitation to actually grow stuff. That would be kind of fun, but I don't think we're going to, like, make that our first priority. Because that would be kind of silly, probably. Now, let's see here. We want transport pods right there. All right, we need a high-tech research bench for that. And for the high-tech research bench, what do I need for you? Um, buppity buppity but What do I need? I forget. Actually, it probably says right in here, doesn't it? Uh, multi-analyzer. No, that requires the high-tech research bench. Uh, bu 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 where would I find you? Large rockets. Those are pretty cool. Lycite refinery. Heavy weapons. Automated turrets. Luciferium production. That does sound pretty badass. Uh, circuit breakers, synthetic organs, bionics, advanced bionics. This web is pretty crazy. We'll just go with electrics. No, 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 it's not electric smelting. Right there on the tip of my mind. But what? Oh, wait, I can actually just build the high-tech research bench. Well, now I feel like an even bigger idiot. Oh, well. As I was thinking to myself, we could have just jumped right into making rockets, and then we could travel around and stuff. Then we could have rockets, my thought process here, and I realize I should probably be wrapping this episode up instead of rambling on fervor. We build rockets that will carry us to a nice climate. We set up a secondary base there that's basically just for harvesting resources to bring back here. And then we use that to launch strategic strikes into enemy territory. Yeah. Well, and non-enemy territory, just anywhere we feel like raiding, I guess. Big one-man show here. But anyway, we'll we'll figure out exactly where we're going and what our direction is in the next episode. But for now, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see you all in the next video.